All right, everyone. So today what I'm going to do is construct a sister beam uh, for my deck. That way it takes a little bit of load off the house and it also gives it additional support. So what I've done so far is place the foundations for the four by four posts. Uh, I have four all together, okay? And what I'm gonna do is actually raise up the post and then bring it up to the, um, actually not quite, but uh, right underneath the choice of the deck. And I'm gonna span a two by eight across the way. Alrighty, so I have everything all measured out. It's about, actually, no, it's exactly 32 inches uh, from this string to the house over there. Okay, so because I stretch the string, I want to see exactly how uh, leveled the, um, the joists are. And you can tell, so, so starting from the outside, which I really didn't want to put a screw hole outside, uh, was not sure if any little alternative, um, but uh, stretch the string across and then kind of see exactly. Um, and I did put one of those little balance things on the uh, that the rest on the string to let you know if it's leveled. And as you as we go across, you can see where it's touching the wood from there. And then before you know it, it actually is about maybe less than half an inch off of this joist. Keeps going the same way. And then it starts to get starts to close in again. So I guess the reason why is because not every piece of wood is leveled uh, or squared. That is, and uh, I could have done this in several ways. Um, one of them would probably be to notch out the longest one sticking down, which is this piece of wood here, as well as this joist here. Um, but instead. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put in the uh, the shims that are for exterior grade to, so it rests on it. Uh, and I think that would work just fine. And again, basically what I want to do is take a lot of the load off of the house. And I'm going to construct everything the same way as I did with those posts over there. Okay, I'm going to use the, um, the Simpson tie all right that's adjustable because again if i were to use it to settle into concrete um it's not going to have any load on it right because the deck wasn't raised a bit and it's so close to the house that i just didn't think it was possible to do that at all okay okay so this is the tool i'm talking about what it does it actually attaches to the string and then lets you know if it's leveled or not so i'm gonna actually I'm gonna place it right beneath this joist here. You let it sit. So if you look underneath, it's fairly leveled, fairly, but not the best. If I move it on further, and again, this is the pieces of wood where it's not, it's not even touching, right? And there you go again. Uh, it's leveled. So I'm just gonna go out a little bit further just so you guys see. And here you go. So the string actually is leveled. I'm not just gonna make it easier for myself instead of just notching all the wood or the woods that actually are touching that string, piece of string over there. Um, I'm just gonna put the, uh, the shims used these shims uh, for a previous project to uh, level out the um, a, a bathroom vanity so these are outdoors and indoors it takes close to 5,000 pounds of pressure which I don't think this is <laughs> the weight of the deck but um, uh, I've seen people what they do is just use one the wedge and that's it which is good to some degree but the problem is you'll get more of the pressure here and not there so what I plan to do is use two on each one so it's a little bit more squared away, if you can no notice that. And then obviously the more I push, uh, the higher the elevation of this, um, that it covers the space and it's, it'll be more uh, equally distributed across, okay? Um, 
and then these also are easy to snap uh, because it's made of that special plastic. I don't know what it's called again, but it's on the box. Okay. Okay, so here is just a little bit of a sample. This is off, off of a previous project. Uh, this is a two by eight. And just to make sure I get the right measurement, it measures close to about, uh, where are you? Yeah, just under a, a inch and a half. Okay, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna use this as a guide. So on both sides of the string, okay. So, but not touching it, right? Then I'm gonna mark off, which I already did over here. So I have a rough idea, a good idea, exactly where I'm gonna be placing each piece of wood. Okay, so you can see the mark that I made. It's right there. Okay, and then. The next step is actually to place the hurricane tie and make it flush to this. Okay, so it'll be like that. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm going to hang the two by eight first and then and then put the post in thereafter. Okay. So I'm not gonna screw it all in. I'm actually just gonna Oh, it's not focusing. It's, I'm, I'm just gonna put like one screw in or something just to hold it up. Um, I'm the, I am the only one who's working on this project here. And so I have to make do with things I can do on my own. Um, everyone I know is actually kind of busy. So, okay, so what I have, uh, I actually bought two by eight by 10 feet, okay? And unfortunately not all the Foundations are equidistant from each other, but close enough, right? So I need to know exactly where I want to um, cut the wood. Because then after that, then going from this point on to over there, it may, it'll be much easier, right? It's just the initial start. So what I did is I got a plumb bob. Oh gosh, I got tangled. Yeah, anyway, I'll just, just, at least just to demonstrate. I already made my marking over here, okay? so. If I have it placed right at that level, this plumb bob, ah, jeez, sorry, it's still moving, but would actually land nearly close to the center of that. I don't have a good angle because then I, I moved the plumb bob, but it would, so, um, and that's exactly where I'm gonna place the post. And so from that mark, that I have there, all the way down to the outer part right here, right there is uh, uh, exactly 114 inches. So just a little more than nine feet. So what I did to carry that two by eight, and that's fairly heavy because it's still a little wet. Um, I made a little loop here, okay? So this will act like a second person for me. And uh, it measures maybe about nine, 10 inches um, length. And I just kind of wrapped it around the rail and then the other end there. So it's easy for me to adjust accordingly because as you can tell, this part here is pretty much flush. So as long as, as, long as the wood is touching there, I'm good. And then I can just read, uh, while this end is being held, okay, while this end is being held, I can actually work on the other end down there. Thereafter, once I had it through the loop, I actually made this so the rope because this is going to be very uh, flush to the deck okay and I'm not gonna have much of a bite so it, it can fall off the loop so uh, fall off the uh, rope loop so this is actually to make sure it doesn't while I'm working there okay so I was able to screw in the one beam there okay I'm sorry that one end of the beam there and now I'm just gonna have to just raise it up uh, ever so slightly just to get it right where it needs to be Okay, so I have the beam up already. Um, I just put a couple screws here and there, but it's still safe. Okay, and so if you can tell here, it's gonna be kind of hard to see. Uh, I was able to get both of the, uh, and it fits perfectly, the shims fit perfectly. So once I have it set up here, then I can just cut it and then obviously push this thing up so now it's covering everything okay so let me show you on the other side too uh, 
it's sorry it's not a good angle uh not focus so there you go okay so what you see me doing is making sure that my loop is all set up and just bringing the drill over so everything's at hand while i'm holding the wood thereafter i bring the two by eight over and let my second helper hold on to that piece of wood and um there it's hanging down okay so now it's just a matter of readjusting the loop uh, so that piece of wood is actually flush to the deck afterwards i'm going to bring on over the uh other end up and flush it down uh, to the joist above. Uh, again, readjusting the loop. And uh, there you go. Just tack it right in to those hurricane ties. Okay, so I was able to get uh, the two long beams in and uh, supported. This is no longer held by the rope. However, it's just there just because. But if you come around this side, you can actually see where the uh, hurricane ties are actually uh, connected and everything is plumb uh, or level that is. Uh, so the reason why I have this board here is because at a certain time it started to twist this board, not twist, but it was actually starting to mount this way. It was like on an angle and I had a hard time pushing this back. So I improvised, I got a scrap piece of wood and I used a screw to put it in there. So that way I was able to push this board this way and everything was able to follow. Once I had that uh, board uh, leveled or plumbed, uh, then I was, uh, gave me the, the uh, ability to actually screw everything else in. This, these two boards are lagged together for the time being. So you have two beams, okay? Um, and I connected it just with deck screws. These are the same screws that I'll be using to uh, um, bolt them together. So I'm not going to use nails. I'm actually going to bolt these boards together. Uh, it's a long piece of wood here. So um, as for, I bought some more of these. These are those uh, composite shims that are able to take a lot of weight. As I mentioned before, you know, you push one this way and the other one the opposite direction. So it's kind of squared off. Now, originally what I wanted to do was actually cut it right there and then push the hurricane tie flush up. Problem I see with that is that then these holes on both ends will be more closer to the edge of the wood and it's not, it's not gonna have much of a bite, okay? So I'm gonna leave it as is. I'm still gonna cut it, but uh, and then you can, you know, um, you'll see the shims there, it's no big deal. Um, and then obviously I'm gonna fill in the rest of the screws. These are 10, um, 10 D, uh, structural screws. These are, so this, I think this is an inch and a half. Okay. And it's just right because, you know, you're, you're going to go through the, uh, two by eight over there. These are actually two and a half. And then obviously these two will follow will be two and a half as well. Once they start filling in the rest of the, uh, screw holes. Now, as in a temporary support, I had this 2x4 that I use uh, to kind of keep it up and plumb, uh, I'm sorry, uh, leveled out. If I get a level, here you go. All right, so we can see this thing here. So pretty much leveled out, which is nice. Um, you're not gonna get, uh, let's see here, here you go. Okay, hey guys, so, so far I got the first three of the um, uh, post base done. I'm not, now I'm on to the fourth. And I did the, the same way as I did with the other part of the video, um, using the Simpson tie and then obviously I would still have to drive in the nail through there. And this is what I have right down there. So most of the, um, the post bracket is actually into the concrete itself. And you don't have that much outside of it, and you can always adjust everything. So, the last thing I'm going to do is uh, put the uh, braces uh, that go from the post to the beam, uh, give it a little bit of additional support. 
Um, and uh, that's about it. So I already started doing all the rocks down there. Uh, kind of cover it all up and I have more rocks to place. So I went on top of the deck and uh, it's uh, you can feel where it's solid. So it's, it's nice to know that uh, the support is um, uh, helping a lot. Alrighty. Okay, so I'm just about complete. All right, so I already arranged arrange the uh, gravel at the bottom, and uh, I still have more to put down. You can tell where it's a little bit more empty. Um, I already put away my tools. So uh, the sister beam that I put up is fairly complete. Uh, I didn't show earlier the uh, the carriage bolts that I put in through each one rather than just nailing it. Uh, I figured. It'd and keep those boards together. I uh, drove in carriage bolts. Uh, they're one half by four inch uh, long, uh, and I did it 16 on center. Okay, so still debating if I'm going to put those brackets, those um, supports on the ends, uh, like I did towards the two middle ones uh, that you've seen earlier. So uh, that's about it. Um, Oh, one last thing was the reason why I did this video was because I didn't see anyone post anything for an already uh, existing deck, you know, to, to uh, construct a sister beam across for additional support. And I think one of the main reasons why I did this is also uh, takes a little bit of load off the house as well. Um, so well, anyways, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you soon. Alrighty, bye bye now.